Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to manage access control over files and storage in AWS. So here we will cover IAM roles and access control list to ensure your data is secure and accessible only to the right users. So let's get started. So for this, first we have to sign in in our AWS management console. So I have already signed in. So click S3 bucket. So here I am going to create a new bucket. So this bucket name should be unique in this region. So here I am going to create, uh, give a bucket name. So here we just leave everything as default. Create bucket. So our bucket was created. So now I am going to add files in this bucket. So for this click bucket and click upload option. Here we have an add files. So I am going to add this file. Okay. Click upload. So wait a minute. So our file was added successfully. Close the button. Go to files. So here we have an a detailed information our, about our files. So I just copy this files URL and paste it in your window. So here we have a message and the name is access denied. So why? Because this bucket is not publicly available as well as the files is not, it's not also publicly available. So here we are granting this bucket to only the specified user. So for this we need to create a, an IAM. So we need to create an, uh, use an IAM and we have to create an IAM user. So uh, we can grant this access to the specified users. So let's see how it is. So now I am going to services and click IAM. Click user. So here we have an uh, under this IAM we have an uh, several options like user groups, users, roles, policies identity providers and account setting. So here I am going to create a user. So for this click create user button and click username. So I just give XYZ. So here I am just enabling these options. So we want to access this uh, resource in a management console. So I just click this option. So I just use this option. I just want to create an IAM user. So this IAM users only if you need to enable a programmatic access through an access key, service specific credentials for AWS code commit or Amazon key spaces or a backup credential for emergency account requests. I just create this and just create a custom password. We must satisfy these conditions. So here user must create a new password at next sign in. So I just disable this. So I just use the password what I have created in this page and click next. Here we have an uh, permission options. So here we have an three permission options, add user group, copy permissions and attach policy directives directly. So in this uh, here we just create a policies to be attached in this user. So here we have a different policies provided by AWS. So here I am using S3 policy only. So here we have uh, Amazon S3 full access policies. So if we open this now then everything is in a JSON format. So here I am selecting this policy 
and click next yes so everything leave as a default and just click create user so your user was created the username is xyz and password was provided this is the uh, login page for this iam user i just copy this page and login into different windows so for this next i am going to login with this iam user uh, name user with new window so just paste the link what i have copied in this iam so this is our account id we just give a username so our username is xyz and password the custom password what we created in uh, in the dashboard you just give this password click sign in okay so we get into our console page here we have on different services right so for checking i am just click easy to instance so here an error was occurred so why because this user can able to access only the s3 packet that's why he can't able to access the ec2 instance so now check an s3 packet yes now this user can able to view the s3 packet so now let's check whether this user can able to access or download the files just click the file just open the file yes he can able to open the file if you want to download click the download option yes you can download the file here also he can't able to provide a public access because this user is allowed to use within this constraint only okay so next we go to our uh, s3 packet and make this um, files should be in a public access i'm just clicking this packet click permissions it going to edit options here i am going to check all the block all public access and save changes please provide confirm so obviously we need to provide confirm okay so next go to edit button so here we need to add a bucket policy so click policy generator so i'm policy type is s3 bucket policy principal is it's publicly accessible one and access is get object amazon resource name so go to the bucket here we have an amazon resource name copied it and pasted it here and give slash star and add statement click generate policy so our policy was generated just copy close the bucket close the button 
go to the bucket policy and paste it here and click save changes yes our bucket policy was added successfully again go to bucket click the objects click permissions copy the url paste it here so here now we can access the our files easily so now the link is publicly available so now let's check that particular IAM user whether he can able to copy this URL and uh, share it to some other nodes. Here I am going to copy the URL and paste it here. So here also I can able to view the files and shareable one. Thank you. Happy learning.